Hi, this is going to be an interesting Weka tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how Weka actually calculates the weighted average of the performance measures. And I also have got this question from the audience that uh, she gets this binary classification problem with class classes N and Y. Now, if you, if you carefully take a look at the precision recall she is getting for N class and uh, Y class, for N class, she's getting this precision and recall, and the F measure is a straightforward harmonic mean of this precision and recall. For Y class, again, in a similar way, she gets the precision and recall, and this F measure is actually the harmonic mean of this precision and recall. Now, Weka gives you an interesting measure called weighted average, which is uh, this row here. Now. In this row, you can see that the user, user is getting the precision 0.478 and the recall 0.502, but her F measure, weighted average F measure, is 0.437. Now, this is interesting because this 0.437 here is not a harmonic mean of the weighted average precision recall she gets. 0.437 is not the harmonic mean of 0.478 and 0.502. Then she asks this question that how does then Weka calculate the weighted average for a given data set? So I'm trying to discuss this in this tutorial. Now if you take a careful look then you can see that uh, in Weka in order to calculate the weighted average of this course it first gets for example, we are just uh, interested in, in the F measure, weighted average F measure, because that's giving us trouble. To calculate the weighted average F measure, Weka first takes the F measure 0.223 of uh, the N class and then multiplies that 0.223 with the number of instances in the data set that are labeled as N. In the second step, Weka takes the F measure 0.633 of the Y class and it multiplies that number 0.633 with the number of instances in the data set that are labeled as Y. Now to get the weighted average 0.437 here, it then sums those two numbers up and divide that number by the total number of instances in, in, in your data set. Okay. So if you want to take a look at it uh, in quantitative terms in, in more practical way I just put these numbers in, in a spreadsheet you can see that this 0.223 is the F measure for the N class and 476 is the number of instances in hard data set that are labeled as N 71 plus 405 and sorry And this, is, this uh, cell actually is representing the multiplication of the values at column uh, at cell A1 and cell B1. In a similar way, this is the F score 0.633 for the Y class for the user's data set. And this B2 cell is actually the number of instances in her data set that are labeled as Y. And this cell C2 is actually the multiplication of these two values. Now, 995 is the summation of the instances labeled as N and labeled as Y. She has total number of 900, she has total 995 instances in a data set. And this cell actually is summing up these two values here. Okay, you can see that it's C1 plus C2. Now, the weighted average F measure here is actually the value at C4 divided by the value at B4. That gives us 0.4368. In other words, this can be represented as 0.437 as we see from the Weka's output. So, this is an interesting problem because at first glance many may uh, consider that this weighted average F measure is going to be the harmonic mean of the weighted average precision and weighted average recall but it's not actually the case. Weka calculates the weighted average all the weighted average scores here TP rate, FP rate, precision recall F measure and rock area um, in the way I just have discussed here. 
I hope that helps. I'll be back with more tutorials till then. Have a nice time. If you have benefited from these tutorials, please click like. And if you want to get more updates whenever I post a tutorial on the YouTube channel, if you want to get updates, then please subscribe. Thank you very much.